If you want to export your database into a text file, because text files are easier to import into other databases where they don't accept sometimes data directly from an Excel file, or maybe because you want to view it or edit it in a Word document, to do either one, to export it to a text file, just come up here on the Quick Access Toolbar, because I have my Save As up there. You can go backstage, go down to File to Save As, but since it's here, click on Save As. Opens up the Save As window. And we're going to change it from saving it as an Excel workbook, click on it, to a text file, not just any text file, it's going to be tab delimited. Let me select it first. Tab delimited means it's going to be separated, all our data, by tabs. Yeah, it's that key on the keyboard that when you hit it, the tab key, it moves it over, if you're in a Word document, by about five spaces. So when I export this into a text file, it's not going to have the cells in it, but instead it'll have the number one then have some spaces or the tab delimiter before it gets to the next field here, which is going to be max, then five spaces clinger, then five spaces, the social security number, and so on. So let's go ahead and see what it looks like. We can leave it like that, export to Word as the name, but this time the extension is the TXT, which you can watch my Windows training video on extensions if you want to learn more about that. Then go ahead and click Save. It says some features in your workbook might be lost if you save it as text. Do you want to go ahead and keep using that format? Uh, yes, let's go ahead and go with that format. And let's go ahead and close out of here. And it says, do you want to save your changes to the export? Well, we did save it. Let's not save it and just close out of it. So we have our original file here, the Excel file, export to Word, with our Excel icon. Then here's the file that we exported it to, a text file, which has a little notepad. So by default, it opens up in notepad. When you double click on it, there it is, Notepad. Go ahead and maximize it, and hey, there you go. You don't have cells, not in your Notepad. It's been cleaned out, but it has the tab delimiter separating one field from the next, or the first data field, which is the list field, then you have so many spaces, or the tab, then it's got the label for the next column, which is first, or the name under that, max, and then tab, clinger, then tab. Well, it gets kind of scrunched up because it only tabs over so many spaces, so when it goes over about five, and then it tabs again over about five, well, it's got two extra spaces, which the social security number can then take up a few, and so it gets kind of a little bit messy. And then we can go ahead and close out. And then if we want to open that up in Word, you can go ahead and right-click on it, go to the Open With, and go over and down to Word. You got your three different versions here. You have Microsoft Word, which is the most powerful word processing program of the other two. WordPad is a step down and Notepad is at the bottom because Notepad doesn't allow any formatting where WordPad allows formatting and some features and Word gives you the whole cake and you can eat it too. So let's go ahead and select Word. Opens it up and hey, there we go. And if you come up here on the Home tab to the Paragraph group and click on the Show Hide Codes, there's your tabs. Every time you see an arrow, the tab key was hit to be able to move it over. And so tab key, tab key, tab key, and so on. And if that looks a little bit messy for you, or you don't know what I'm talking about, you want to watch my Word training videos, but you can go ahead and clean this up after you learn Word, and that's pretty simplistic. Or if it's not too large of a database, and you want to just do a copy and paste, that works. So let me go ahead and minimize that down to the taskbar. Open up my database in Excel here. And then go ahead and select the top cell and scroll down and shift click the bottom corner cell so we have my entire database selected. Then go ahead and do control C to copy, you get the marching ants. Go back to the Word document and then do control A to select everything within the document. Delete and then go ahead and do control V as in Victor to paste. And let me go ahead and scroll back up to the top and hey, doesn't that look cleaner? It brought over the formatting and put it into a table format. So it understood and recognized the cells, and the cells in Excel, the complementary in Word, is going to be into a table. And so if you watch my Word training videos, you'd have an idea what I'm talking about here. When you hover over it, you get this little tag that when you click on it, selects all the fields in the entire table. And so let's go ahead and click off. Looks nice. And you can see up here it's related contextual tabs for the table tools. You got the design and the layout. And if you go to Layout tab and you don't want to view the grid lines, so you can actually see the structure of the cells where the data is being stored, you can just come up here in the table group, deselect view grid lines, and 
The grid lines are there to help you when you're designing and setting it up, your database in Word. Like I said, if it's not too large of a database, copy and paste works. If not, watch my Word training videos and I show you how you can clean it up. Oh, what the heck, let's just go ahead and hit undo a couple of times to bring it back. With everything selected here, we can come up here and click on insert, go down to table, and say that we want to convert our text to table, click on it, and the number of columns, let's, well, it's trying to decipher how many. It's actually nine, but then we've got the title for the database that it's trying to cram in there. So we'll do nine columns. Fix column width, you can do it autocomplete, or you can actually define it. And then separate text at, remember it was tab delimited, so separate it wherever there's a tab. Go ahead and click okie dokie. And there we go. The list, first, last, social security number, they're all in their columns. Now that doesn't look as clean as far as the formatting goes when we went and copied and pasted it. But like I said, you get me on a tangent here and I won't go any further. So go ahead and watch my word training videos and I can show you how you can clean this up. Otherwise, if you want a quick fix and your database isn't too huge, okay, go ahead and copy and paste. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please see the description below this video.